end things you didn't know about Madagascar. Apart from the lemurs, but we'll get to that. Singing and dancing animals aside, Madagascar is a beautiful island rich in culture and boasting with outstanding flora and fauna. From fascinating traditions and garments and a history thick with pirates to forests of ancient trees, this island is definitely worth exploring. Welcome to Joker TV's Top 10. In this video series on the Joker TV YouTube channel, we bring to you exciting information about Africa and the world at large. So if you are new here, consider subscribing and also turn on notification so you don't miss any of our videos. In this video, we've rounded up 10 things you might not know about Madagascar. Number 1. Dancing Lemus Among the main reasons people head to Madagascar is to see the various species of lemu that are endemic to the island. Their name comes from the Roman word lemus, which translates to ghosts after their slow habits and nocturnal nature. While there are nearly 100 species of lemu in Madagascar, one of the most well-known is Veru Sifaka lemu, nicknamed the dancing lemu. They have white bodies, black faces, slightly webbed hands and feet and very long tails. Because it spends most of its time in the trees, the only way it knows to get around on the ground is by leaping, giving rise to its nickname. Num Number 2. The Mad Queen On the throne for 33 years, Ranavalona is known by many as Madagascar's Mad Queen. She started out as the daughter of a commoner, but through some clever thinking on the part of her father, she married the king's son, and when he died, she had the rightful heir murdered and took the throne herself. During her reign, she was brutal, riding the country of Christian missionaries, ending agreements with France and England, enslaving many of her own people and sentencing anyone who defied her to death. In the capital, you'll find the remains of her palace, the rover of Antananarivo. Number 3. Beautiful Baobabs Chances are, when you think of Baobabs, you think of the African continent at large. But this island off the coast of Africa boasts an impressive 75% of the world's Baobabs. Australia is home to one species, Africa to another, and Madagascar claims the other six as its own. To appreciate them to the fullest, head to the Avenue of Baobabs in the Manabe region. There, you'll find two dozen of the ancient trees standing proud along a dirt road. They and the scattering of other Baobabs in the area were once part of the tropical forest, which were gradually cleared for agriculture. Number 4. Traditional Dress Most countries have traditional dress, but what sets Madagascar apart is that their traditional clothes are worn by both men and women alike. The Lamba is a swath of fabric that is worn, wrapped or drapped around the body. Different occasions call for different designs, colors and materials. You'll find red, white and black striped lambas across most of the island and green and brown geometric patterned lambas in Scalava villages. They also come in handy for things like strapping babies on their parents' backs. Number 5. Martial Art Originally a way for elders to gauge the strength and fitness of young men, the traditional martial art of Moringi has grown in popularity across the island and even spread to neighboring islands like Réunion, the Seychelles and Mauritius. It is believed to have originated during the Moroseranana dynasty 1675 to 1896. These days, it is no longer limited to male participants and competitors are weaponless and fight using only their bare fists and feet. Traditionally, the matches are accompanied by music with the intention of sending both fighters and viewers into a trance-like state, making for a spiritual experience. Number 6. Rare Wildlife Apart from the lemurs, Madagascar is home to a large number of species you don't find anywhere else in the world. In fact, 90% of the wildlife is unique to the island. Go exploring and you'll discover exotic creatures like the carnivorous fossa, around 346 species of reptile, and over 6,000 endemic types of plants and trees. However, one of the biggest threats 
to the wonderful white life is the destruction of the natural habitat, which leaves the island's non-human habitants extremely vulnerable. Deforestation, fires, erosion, and alien species are among the biggest culprits. Number 7. Fourth Largest Island As far as islands go, Madagascar is one of the largest in the world, claiming fourth place at 592,800 square kilometers. Ahead of it are Greenland, New Guinea, and Bonwe. Its unique biodiversity is attributed largely to the fact that it has been isolated from its neighboring continent for millions of years. Everything was allowed to evolve in relative isolation for millions of years. Because of its unique flora and fauna, it has been affectionately duped the eighth continent. Number eight, rich customs. There is a fascinating wealth of traditional customs and spirituality to be discovered, especially if you venture into the more remote villages in Madagascar. As practicing animists, one of the customs you may still witness today is the funerary tradition of Famadihana, also known as the turning of bones. This ritual sees Madagascans bring the bodies of their ancestors out of their crypts and dance with them accompanied by music. While outsiders may be a bit squeamish about the idea, realize that for the Madagasi, it's a way of honoring the dead. Number 9. Old Pirate Heaven During the 17th and 18th centuries, the golden age of piracy, the island was a heaven for pirates. Thanks to its multitude of secluded coves and the fact that the land wasn't owned by a European power. It was the ideal place to stop to repair their ships without drawing attention and find fresh food while embarking on raids in the Indian Ocean. By the 1690s, there was a thriving pirate colony on the island. Among the most popular pirate heavens around Madagascar were Ile Saint-Marie and Ranta Bay. You may even discover an old pirate cemetery while exploring. Number 10 very vanilla very vanilla if you are a fan of all things vanilla then you love madagascar a huge amount of the world's real vanilla grown here baboon or black vanilla originates in the northwest of the country while the vanilla orchid comes from mexico and it's pollinated by a rare bee the story goes that in 1841 a young french owned slave on what is today reunion island discovered how to pollinate the orchid by hand. It wasn't long until vanilla plantation began to crop up in Madagascar. Today, they export around 1,000 tons of vanillas a year. There you have it, Njoka TV viewers. Those were 10 things you probably didn't know about Madagascar. If you have any contributions or critics, please leave it down in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, leave us a thumbs up and also do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.